In this video, I'm going to show you how to install cleats onto a bike shoe. So in this case, we're using Shimano SPD cleats and we're of course putting them on a shoe that accepts Shimano SPD pedals. Now I know this is more of a very basic bike tip, but for those of you who are getting started, you may have never done this and want a little bit of guidance. The first thing that I'll mention is that there are two main styles of cleats. One is, like I said, the Shimano SPD, which is the two bolt design. If you have a road shoe, you're probably gonna have a three bolt design. The methods that I'll show in this video work for either style. So I'll be showing how to do this with a brand new set of cleats, but there is a chance you may be transferring cleats from an old shoe onto a new shoe. If that's the case, one tip that I'll give you is that, especially with mountain bike shoes, you're probably gonna have some dirt inside the cleat. So what you wanna do is take a pick, take a nail, a really small Allen wrench, and just kinda move it inside and pick out that dirt. Because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to get an Allen wrench inside there to get the dirt out. And you just kinda move it around, and there I just got a whole bunch of dirt out of that. So that's just a tip to help you, again, if you're moving cleats from one shoe to another. One more thing I want to mention is if you're newer to bike maintenance, you probably want to pick up a torque wrench. These things are invaluable as you get into more bike maintenance because you may not be familiar with the pressure that you put on Allen bolts and it's honestly easier to over tighten a bolt than you would think. And so the cleats that we'll install today are five to six Newton meters and I like using a torque wrench to get those torque specs just right. And of course you can do it without, and I've done it a thousand times without one, but it's nice to know, again, if you're getting into bike maintenance, how much pressure to put on. All right, let's put the cleats on the shoe. This is a pair of shoes that I already have cleats installed, and a tip I'll give you is if you're moving cleats from an old pair of shoes to a new pair, take a photo of the cleats right now, and that way you'll have a reference so that you'll know about the position that you have and you're not having to reset your cleat. Now, in this video, I'm not really gonna go into cleat placement. That's more of a bike fit video. I prefer having my cleats a little bit further down, so I'm gonna use the bottom two bolts. So you'll see on this new pair of shoes where I'm installing the cleats, there are two rows of bolts and I'm gonna use the bottom one. So with the SPD cleats, you have the cleat itself. So you're gonna put that on the shoe first. And then you're gonna put this little washer and then you're gonna put the bolts on. These SPD washers that go on between the cleat and the bolt are one directional. So they're kind of cupped. So you want the cupped side to face the bolt so the bolt recesses down inside of that washer. Very similar with a road shoe, you'll put the cleat on, you'll put one of these metal washers on and then the bolt on top of it. I would always recommend putting just a little dab of grease onto each bolt before you put them into the shoe. So now we're gonna take the cleat, we're gonna place it onto the shoe, and then we're just gonna put in each bolt. What you wanna do is you just wanna put the bolts in and don't tighten them, have them be really loose so you can still move the cleat around. Like I said, I'm using my old pair of shoes as a reference, and so that way I know right where to put the cleat. Not only how far up and down the cleat is, but also where it points. So this one points just to the left of the center of the shoe up here. And so again, that's another important reference that you wanna pay attention to. Now that I've got my cleat where I want it, I'm gonna start tightening the bolts. And what you wanna do is you wanna tighten both bolts or all three if it's a road shoe very evenly. So once it starts to grab, it's really like maybe a quarter to a half turn each. And then keep going back and forth until you get them really snug and then if you have a torque wrench, you're gonna finish it up with a torque wrench. And again, Shimano SPD goes five to six Newton meters per bolt. And you'll notice as you tighten them, like you'll get one that feels pretty snug and then you go over to the other one and then it feels loose. And so again, that's why you wanna go back and forth and just do these evenly. Okay, so I've got these at 5.4 Newton meters. The last thing that I'll mention is, you'll see on this shoe, there are some lines. So that way I can line up the cleat on one shoe exactly the way it is to the other shoe. So not only 
up and down, but you'll see it's got a center line too. So for my cleats, I put the center of the cleat directly on that center line. So again, that's just a guide to help you make sure the cleats are the same on both shoes. So that's how you install a pair of cleats onto a pair of mountain bike shoes. Again, it's a very basic tip, but I love helping people at all phases of the sport. And so if you're new to putting on cleats, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Any questions or comments that you have, drop those below. Thanks for watching.